Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to give you a few information about things that keep the rich richer and the poor poor. And I think it's important investing in the crypto market. You need to know how to keep your coins, how to keep your money, not just go out there and flunk it and show people that you have wealth on your skin. You need to build generational wealth. So let's see why the rich stay rich and get richer. Okay, it says six things the rich do to stay rich. Number one, they avoid get rich quick scam. Number two, they make retirement saving a priority. Number three, they keep taxes in mind. Number four, they build multiple sources of income. That one is very important. If you are employed by any company and you have a side gigs where you can add some more some kind of income come on the side it will help you stay afloat until you make it what is in the stock market or the crypto market not any type of advice on when you only focusing in one income it's not enough to make it whether you rich or poor in my opinion uh number five they leverage debt to their advantage that's a lot of thing that we we middle class or poor people don't do when we get the credit card start with me uh, i'm i'm not perfect i'm not even near i'm just i am learning as we go i'm not telling you this because oh she thinks she knows it all no i have my credit card and i max them out which is bad them which people use it in their advantage but us we use it for need so it's a different ball game. So the interest weight is way higher for us because we max it out and we're not able to make the payment on time or we're not able to give what they ask us to give. So that's why we need to educate ourselves. We need to know for sure why are we, we work for a certain amount of money and at the end of the month, we're still barely making it. Why? What are we doing wrong? Okay. So the last one, it says created Wabas financial plans. It's good to have a plan. Even though we are in the middle class or they call it poor, it's good to have a plan and follow up with it. Because if not, it's not going to work out in our favors. So let's see why the poor uh, stay poor. Okay, we're going to find out why what hold on guys poor people do to say poor i have to give you i have to give you on both sides what can we do to better ourselves why are we not getting better whether we have an income or not i saw one Yesterday, I was trying to give the information, get some information before I came up to you guys. I saw one that said poor people have too many kids. Are you serious? Seriously? It says poor people have too many kids and uh, kids are very expensive. I don't, I don't know. In my opinion, I don't think that's the reason. But let me read what it says. Uh, lower saving is the reason why poor people continue to stay poor. Low saving is common among poor and middle class people first we overspend and then to make up for these overspending we dig deeper into our whatever small savings the result is we are left with virtual zero savings it is true i i can i can see myself in that it's true it's the truth it is so true And um, let me see if I give you a, there was one here that says 15 things, people. Uh, da, 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 da. 15 habits that poor people do that keep them poor. Let me see if that has anything to do with this. Now, remember, this is all opinions. You know, you can always go back and fact, you know, check the facts to see why we can't get out of our situation.
you know no, i don't like this one and i am learning together with you guys i've always said that i live paycheck to paycheck sometimes i barely make it and that's why i am into crypto because i know one day that can change my life you know so 25 things poor people do that they which don't do okay let me see what they do uh, let's see 25 things let me see if i can okay number one it says they don't understand the game number one lack of a value system number three no birth control there we go again with that baby thing flawed priorities f l a w e d priorities lack of effective time management they lack of uh, motivation they only work for money that i cannot i can see that lack of strategic investment it is true running without a budget that's another truth they rely on willpower it's true we say god will take care of it <laughs> lack of self-development de yes not taking calculated risk that's another one i like this one i'm gonna say them and then i'm gonna kind of give my opinion and some that i can relate to okay always playing the blame game that i don't play the blame game it is what it is bad saving culture i can i can see that non challenge attitude towards their health it's true keeping the wrong company it is another truth they watch too much television. It is another truth. Okay, I kinda I can see this being a good one. Turn down opportunities, another truth. They bank on wishes and luck. Another one. Giving warm for persismisms. Let me spell it for you guys. P-E-S-S-I-M-I-S-M. -S -S -I lack of vision. That's another truth. Lack of focus, another truth. They give up too quickly. Oh my God, so true. They are master procrastinators. Um, yes. <laughs> and the last one, they are afraid of changes. So true. And let me read exactly what it says under that. They are afraid of changes. In the words of Thomas Jefferson, former American president, if you want something you've never had you have to do something you've never done god this is so good it takes accepting that you have been wrong about something to agree to change and most people will rather be right that is why most people remain poor my goodness yes they are poor people in circumstances that are beyond their control it is also true but the majority of people watching this video have the power to change their life if they will accept to take responsibility for their life. My goodness. I saw something on TikTok. This young man would see those homeless people and ask them if they, should, if they can read this note for them. And after they read the note, some of them read it, you know, very gracefully you know pleasantly read it as if well that's nice they read it and then it says this can resonate with me whatever the young men put in the notes but some of them are so mean like i think i saw two of them that was like none of your business why are you bothering me and then when they realized the young man was trying to give them money you know and they're like wow crying and they want to run after the young man to hug him some stuff on tiktok i kind of like and um that was some of them that i really love okay let me see i don't want to keep this video long but the 25 things poor people do that um which people don't do i don't know if i should do a separate video on that because i would like to explain my take on those and it's not gonna be it's not gonna be um long okay let me close this one out and then the that will be part one and then the other one that I explain my take on will be number two, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. I am here to bring you the best of the best from life, from investment, crypto, or stock market. I will do my homework. That's why I need you guys to take this channel to 1,000 subscribers. Then um, 
5,000, 10,000, half of a million, I can do this, you know, full time and go out there, do my research, talk to people, interview people and let them, you know, get their take on life. Why things are the way they are. Can they change if they make a move? Okay. Crypto Marie, she does it all, a little bit of everything. I am going to explain each of the one that I can resonate with to see why the 25 things poor people do that the rich don't do. All right. Thank you for subscribing and let somebody you know subscribe. Let them know this is where the house at. We're going to have a party. Whether you agree or not, at the end of the day, we are a family. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. May God bless you. Subscribe. Bye.